Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is not suffering to us what? Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every power preventing you from reconciling with your God shall lose his grip over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace to run to Jesus and surrender your life to him shall come upon your life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Your stopping by is not by accident. It's just that God wants to drop a word into your heart that will change the course of your life for good and forever. If you are new here, you are gladly welcome. On this platform, I bring you the word of God in bite size, as laid in my heart by the Holy Spirit, in smaller bits, for you to chew, swallow, digest and assimilate, as it relates to whatever you are currently going through, addressing them with prophetic prayers, to dislodge the demons reinforcing those challenges in your life. By the power of God, I decree an end to those nagging problems in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, the number of years spent here on earth is inconsequential. What is more important is why you are here and what you have been able to do for God and humanity. So the fact that you are still alive up to this moment is because God is patiently waiting for you to repent. Beloved, aging or growing old on earth is not an indication that God is pleased with you. The Word of God says in 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Beloved, Enoch was the least in age among people of his generation, but he was the only one acknowledged for having good relationship with God. The Bible records that Enoch walked with God and did not experience death because God took him. In fact, he was one of the three personalities in the Bible who went to heaven without tasting death. Beloved, Stop wasting the grace of God upon your life. Allow the patience of God to translate into salvation for you. God is waiting for you to repent. Stop abusing your grace. Stop thinking you are still alive and this old because you have found favor with God. Beloved, long life is not only measured by our steadfastness. In most cases, it is by His mercy. Therefore, let the patience of God works your salvation according to 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 15 a. Stick to the mission of God for your life and remember it is not how long but how well. Beloved, think about what God has done for you even when you did not know Him. Those challenges you are going through right now that looks as if it will never end can only come to an end if only you invite Him into the boat of your life. Simon Peter did and his lack and frustration disappeared and was replaced with abundance. The Word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Don't let anyone's way of life shift your focus on the race you are running. Connect with the source of your life today. Give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, and your life will never remain the same. As you do, those challenges of yours shall fade away by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, this is how far we shall go in this edition of Bible Scriptures and Prophetic Prayers. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this far. Please, if you are here to join this family, kindly press the red subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell for fresh video as I upload on Wednesdays and Sundays. As you do, heaven will hold your hand and take you to your enviable position in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thanks once again, and I will see you in my next video. Remain blessed.